hello everyone welcome to my channel so uh, in today's video we are going to uh, discuss about how to onboard a device from microsoft defender for endpoint so before i jump into how to do the offboarding i want to uh, share with you uh, a couple of information about the offboarding which is uh, the offboarding package after you download the offboarding package from defender for endpoint portal this is valid only for 30 days and once you successfully complete your offboarding the devices will stop sending the, the telemetry data to your microsoft 365 defender portal and also the status of a uh, device will be switched to inactive status after seven days of the on offboarding so once you successfully offboarded any devices the data such as your timelines alerts vulnerabilities and all these will remain only until it reaches the retention period meaning if you have configured your tenant with a retention period of 180 days the data will be available only up to 180 days so the maximum retention period that you can configure is 180 days uh, for example if the devices is not active in the tenant for past uh, 30 days so in that case the devices will no longer will be contribute to your organization's exposure and secure score so these are the important factors that we have to consider before we uh, go for offboarding any devices in the defender for from the defender for endpoint okay let's uh, get into the action I'm going to uh, download the offboarding package from Microsoft 365 Defender portal. For that, I'm going to access the security.microsoft.com and I'm in the home page. Here, if I scroll all the way down to settings and you have an option to choose for endpoints and under the endpoints, I'm going to uh, go into the section device management. I'm going to click on offboarding. So here, I need to select the offboarding uh, platform. For example, in my case, I have my Windows 11 machine, which I'm trying to offboard here. So here, uh, I'm going to choose uh, Windows uh, 10 and 11. Uh, you might be need to on, offboard some other operating systems like your Linux machine or your Windows servers. So you can choose uh, the required operating system based on the, the target endpoint. I'm going to select Windows 10 or 11 and here uh, after you select this here here you are the the security reason warning is giving you here is it so this package will be valid only for 30 days of its creation meaning today i have created it's 11th of november and this package is going to be valid only till the december 11. so now i'm going to choose the deployment method uh, for this demo i'm going with a local script but you can uh, download the deployment method based on or uh, your uh, deployment method tool that you are using for example if you are using group policy you can choose group policy or if you are using uh, intune or sscm or whatever the deployment tool that you are having here you can choose that one and download the package for this demo i'm going with the local script and click on download package so after i click download and my down package will get uh, successfully downloaded into my uh, downloads folder so now I'm going back to my machine and I'm just want to validate the package is successfully downloaded. Yes, I have my packages uh, downloaded successfully. I'm going to take a uh, right click this package and I'm going to extract all and extract to the same location. And once it's done, you will be seeing a, a folder with the offboarding script. So if you notice this, the offboarding package name itself, it says that your package is going to be valid only till December 11th. So now I'm going to open my uh, command prompt in administrator mode and I'm going to uh, locate the download folder and I'm going to execute the uh, offboarding package. For that I'm going to locate that uh, folder where I have uh, copied my offboarding script and then I'm going to execute the offboarding script. So once I press enter the offboarding process will initiate it and it will take uh, less than a minute to complete the offboarding so once the machine is uh, successfully offboarded uh, from uh, successfully offboarded then uh, the relevant uh, event will be captured in your uh, windows event viewer 
uh, there are a couple of ways that you can validate whether your devices is successfully offboarded from the uh, uh, Microsoft Defender for endpoint or not. So the, for that, uh, we can uh, use a couple of steps to do that. So here uh, I got the message saying that uh, my machine is successfully offboarded from the Defender for endpoint. Now I'm going to press any key to continue and my offboarding is successful. So now I want to validate whether my offboarding is really successful or not. In that case, I'm going to open my Event Viewer and I'm going to uh, win going to Windows Logs and click on the Applications. And if I'm going to do the refresh here, yeah, I could see that WDATP offboarding event is successfully created with event ID 20. So here it's saying successfully offboarded machine from Microsoft Defender for endpoint. This is one of the way you can do the validation. The second way is uh, you can uh, go to the same event viewer and open applications and service log. And under the Microsoft, you can expand windows and then you can locate uh, the folder sense here or if you expand and then click on the operations, then you can go and filter for the event ID 44. And if I click OK, and it is going to be uh, give me the message saying that offboarding of Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection Service completed. So, so we have successfully validated the Microsoft Defender for endpoint offboarding. Thank you everyone. I will meet you with the next informative video.